Hey folks, I'm Sebastian and welcome to Atmosica, your place for creating an inspiring atmosphere for your tabletop role-playing games. Now today we've got a little bit of a quick craft for you. I've got some 3D printable terrain from LV427 Designs. We've got some of these alien style corridors I've been working on. Uh, and basically I wanna be able to make something that kind of modifies some of these 3D prints for different types of settings. So I've made a little bit of a prototype here and basically it's these little kind of scatter pieces that you can pop onto your like terrain and drape over it. Typically I'm going for that secreted resin kind of necrotic uh, corruption kind of feel. So basically I wanna make a whole bunch more to cover some more terrain. So let's quickly make some more. Now basically the materials that we're gonna use is some of this Halloween cloth, which is you can find it at like dollar stores or online and stuff. And basically it's this black, almost like cheese cloth, but it has some of that nice kind of texture to it. So that's gonna be kind of our base. To start off, we're just gonna cut off a couple of pieces. And now you can cut into different sizes and shapes and for all types of different pieces you wanna kinda of scatter in. So I'm gonna have little big pieces, small pieces, whatever's gonna fit around my terrain to modify it for these different types of uh, this field. So we're just going for a big piece here. So I got one of these silicon mats here and I'm gonna put that on the top. And we're gonna make sure we lay this out as much, you know unfold it as we can. And the second ingredient is gonna be some of this hot glue, uh, which I picked up off of Amazon. It's this black hot glue. I'm gonna use this for this chunky necrotic vines that we're gonna put over the surface of this. So I already loaded some into this glue gun here. And just because it's on that uh, silicon mat, we're just gonna randomly squirt it around, almost like a root system, going for a really nice organic pattern. And you can also layer over some of these roots to make them a little bit thicker. And I also like to go a little bit over the edge in case you want to have some of these roots and stuff kind of come over. That's going to help blend in with some of the terrain. And something I also like to do whilst it's kind of cooling is to add a little bit of uh, some surface texture to it. It's when it's a little bit kind of cooled down a little bit. Maybe when it's not as sticky. Yeah, you can wait just like a half a minute or something because I'm just kind of using low temperature at the moment just kind of to get your your fingerprint on there that kind of helps get a little bit of that texture on there and there we go we got this one finished up now i didn't want to go too heavy on all of the vines just because you want to still have that flexibility to be able to kind of put it around your terrain you can see we can still kind of drape it around some of these sections and because it's got that those holes in that mesh can have even portions of the uh, terrain from underneath. I suppose you could try this with different types of materials and colors if you wanted to get different types of vines and that kind of thing. This would be perfect for some kind of shadow dark vibe but let's have a look at how it works into some of this alien terrain. Now that was just a quick craft to help modify your terrain you might be working on for all kinds of shadow dark ruins or alien themed sci-fi corridors. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my amazing supporters on Patreon with a special shout out to Anthony Von Olin, Blake Daly, Bradley Gilmore, Chris Andrus, Constructed Chaos, Darkfire Designs, Devante, Dr. Justin L. Hamrick, John A. Johnson, Jonathan, Michael Dykes, and Mini Wargaming. Until next time, let's create and inspire.